Okay, today we're going to look at setting up Blueprint Sub C Pinpoint to run the C Track tracking system. First off, we need to connect the GPS and the transducer head. We'll go into System, Device Manager, and connect the GPS puck to the COM port. <coughs> Check to see which COM port it's installed as, COM4. Then, with the transducer powered, which is clearly seen by the green blinking light on the bottom of the transducer, we'll plug that in to the USB port. Again, taking note of the COM port number, COM24. We're then going to go into settings and <clears throat> the X150 transducer is already installed. We can then add our beacon so we can make it one. X010. Okay, we've added those in. We then go to the toolbar. In here we can add our C track <coughs> device COM24 we had it as we can also add in our GPS NMEA again COM4 board rate was 4800 the talker ID we may need to change to change this P to and N, depending on if it picks up OK or not. This has caused some problems with some GPS uh, NMA strings in the Southern Hemisphere. It's being worked on and I think it'll be fixed later, but it's sometimes by changing that P to an N, it will get it to work if it doesn't work already. Enable that, so we now have all the devices connected. We've set the two, the transducer head and the modem, 1 and 15. We can then select, if we've got a vessel, we can give it a length. Beam. So, say we had a 10 metre vessel, 4 metres wide. You can put in some offsets if you think you need to do. Positioning source, dynamic position from the tracking system, heading set up internal from C track. Uh, here's the offsets if you want to change the offsets depending on where the beacon is. If it's the left or the right of the vessel, you need to tick like this. Transducer, uh, so GPS position on the vessel. Again, that might not be in the center of the vessel. If it is, you can leave it there, otherwise, you can shift it. Okay, by selecting the mode button here, this will start tracking. We need to change the view to views. As we can see, we're getting heading info from the transducer. We've got a latitude and longitude. It is pinging beacon 1. At this stage it's not tracking yet. At this point in time you should see a map come up if you've been connected to the internet. We'll see the transducer is pinging beacon 1 and we're getting a position. Beacon colours can be changed by going into the settings menu and changing the colour on all of the items GPS, vessel and the ROV.